All right. What's up, Tycoon? Traders, super excited for today's video. We got to break down Mark today, ticker symbol M A R K. This is Remark Holdings. Um, and we're going to break down the chart, really give you guys a good technical analysis on it, go over some of the key levels and signals that I'm watching right now that we see on the charts. Um, but before we dive too much into the technicals, all right, we'll get into that on the second half of the video. We do need to break down some of the recent news surrounding the stock, as well as give you guys just a general overview of what the company really is. Now, there's lots of news. All right. They recently secured a $6 million recurring revenue subscription contract from the Rio de Janeiro Police Department. And we'll go over why, you know, they're really uh, securing that contract. Um, <clears throat> they provide AI powered video analytics to manage crowd traffic. All right. Um, and they form sales development partnership with wait time and collaborating with Aon to simplify video analytics solutions. We'll kind of go over, uh, you know, some of these things in today's video. As always, though, the content provided on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only, and is not intended to be relied upon as legal, financial, or investment advice. So please be sure to read through the full disclaimer. Today's video is sponsored by Simply Wall Street. It's a really great platform. Uh, they have an awesome app, an awesome website, and you guys can get a 14-day free trial using the link in the description below, as well as up to 40% off for the first 100 people that join that makes it very affordable if you do choose to purchase it and you've got nothing to lose really by trying the 14 day free trial you won't regret it i definitely promise you that and if you don't feel like purchasing it you know at least you got to use that 14 day free trial you can also email me anytime zacklytrades at gmail.com for a one-on-one -on -one personal coaching session i do those coaching sessions every week and we can work on scheduling a time together that fits for both of us now, um, here are some of the sectors that Remark Holdings serves, okay? They serve the hospitality sectors, including stadiums, arenas, and sports venues, uh, public safety and healthcare, retail, highways, railway, construction, right? And some of the reasons that they choose Remark is for its award-winning speed, accuracy, and scalability that drives operational efficiency with features including site monitoring with real-time alerts. So you can get crowd intelligence with people uh, counting, occupancy monitoring. You know, this is an AI stock and AI stocks are the new buzz right now. And so there's going to be, I think, lots of attention. Maybe the next time that AI gets a good pump in the market, um, you know, maybe this is a good stock that you want to pay out, uh, pay attention to as a potential trade idea, um, you know, for, you know, basically the next AI boom. Right. They are applying the power of AI through practical and accessible solutions that solve problems, reduce risk and deliver positive outcomes across multiple industries with AI driven video analytics that seamlessly integrates with your existing surveillance security infrastructure. So you get real time video analytics, enhanced security and actionable insights. Right. Um, efficient operations with real time alerts. All right. Uh, forensic investigation, analytical dashboards. All right. They're bringing a lot to the table. Retail intelligence and customer analytics solutions. Um, you know, you get their vision identity recognition white paper. There's lots, um, you know, that remark is bringing to the table. And I definitely think it's something that you guys should pay attention to. Now, recently, they secured a six million dollar recurring revenue subscription contract from the Rio de Janeiro Police Department. All right. It's a 30 month recurring revenue subscription contract worth more than six million dollars to equip the Rio de Janeiro Police Department's existing police car fleet with license plate and facial recognition capabilities during the first phase of the rollout. Now, the deployment is said to be completed over the next 120 days and the passing of the current technical due diligence period will grant additional revenue opportunities for the second and third phases. The company says they partnered with Brazilian system integrator IPROP tech to implement the requirements requested by the police department remark said so you know there's lots of potential for this company right um you know there's many different basically businesses and organizations we see even here the police department is even um you know securing a contract with them so you know i really like to see that right and it just shows you you know the potential and how many different areas that remark holdings could potentially reach out to um, they, uh, also provide AI powered video analytics to manage crowd traffic, uh, and they formed a sales development partnership with wait time here recently. Um, that's pretty good. And it will combine wait times, crowd intelligence analytics with Remark's smart safety platform, allowing the company's customers to analyze behavioral 
patterns and create a more detailed customer profile for marketing purposes. Uh, and then uh, recently, they also earlier in the year and like in the beginning of the year, so not too recent, but they entered into a collaboration with computer manufacturing company Aon in order to simplify the delivery of AI driven video analytics. The company's plan to create and deploy a complete vision system equipped to detect and identify people and objects at scale and speed with minimal false alerts. The main goal of the partnership is to provide market-ready solutions for smart cities that require vision solutions for public safety, situational awareness, and behavioral analysis. All right, so um, that's just some of the news and a brief intro into the company. We'll go ahead and dive into the charts now. Now, you guys might not see it, but there's something setting up here, all right, that I'm liking, and it's called bullish divergence, okay? So just simply take a look at how the price action is making these lower lows, right? We have these lows here. We have these lower lows here. Well, when you look at your RSI, remember, this is your relative strength index. It's going to measure the relative strength of a stock at its given price. And you can see that we made a low and we're actually making higher lows over here while the stock is making these lower lows. So that's a simple term known as bullish divergence. All right. And, you know, that that basically means that we could see some type of bullish activity in the future. It's never guaranteed, but that's something, you know, that's a technical indicator that a lot of technical analysts um, like to look at for potential setups. Right. Now, if we do get some type of a rally, uh, 99 cents right here is a big resistance level. All right. That was our support over here. And, you know, we tried to use it as support a couple of times and we basically flipped it to resistance here recently in the present. All right, so we need to get above 99. If we can get above there, we have 112, 126, 137, and 148. Those are going to be some very key and important resistance levels, right? And the reason being is these are our Fibonacci retracement levels. Um, and each time that this stock has had a pop, you know, a big pop, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the history of the chart, it's pretty much came up exactly to a Fibonacci retracement level and then continued the downtrend. So, you know, I'll show you guys that real quick. But you can see the many times that this thing is rallied and had these pops, right? So basically, you take your last pop highs, okay? So your last swing high, you connect it down to the swing lows. And here we had a nice push up. You can take a look. And that was a pretty good rally there, over 50%. Uh, and look at where it got rejected, right here at the 38.2% retracement level, right? And then so now we continue that downtrend. We have a new pop high, a new swing high. We connect that to our new swing low after the downtrend. And then what does the stock do? The stock goes on another massive rally. And this time it gets rejected at the 61.8% retracement level. And that was about 180% um, you know, move there, right? So the stock moves like crazy and it's super volatile, which is really good for traders um, because you know volatility gives you opportunity for you know for trades basically. But you have to know the key levels, right? And so that's our key level right there, all right, uh, the 61.8. And then we have a new swing high. We have a new low. You see we pop up and we come right up to that 50% retracement level this time. And then we continue that downtrend back down again. So if we do um, get any type of big moves sometime soon, all right, these are going to be some really important levels, right? That's our recent high, all right, from the last time it popped. We connected it down to our lows. And if we make new lows, we'll have to adjust this. But for the moment, these are the FIB retracement levels. And so we need to be very cautious of these levels uh, on any type of a pop, right? We haven't done a good job of being able to break out past the 61.8. Uh, that's how you can help to identify a reversal, right? So you use the FIBs a couple of ways. One is to identify trend continuation because nothing moves in a straight line down and nothing moves in a straight line up. You get a move up, retracement, continuation higher, or a move down, retracement, continuation lower. Right. And we can see that that's what we've been getting. Right. We've getting, you know, the move down, the retracement and then continuation lower. All right. But you can also use them to spot a reversal. If you move up, retrace and you start to consolidate and break through those retracement levels, that's how you can spot a potential downside reversal. And if you move down, retrace, consolidate and break through those retracement levels, that's how you can spot a potential upside reversal. So if we are able to break through some of these key levels here, then there is a good chance we could get 100 percent retracement and take us back up to about $1.83. All right. But looking more at the big picture, there's lots of potential if we can break through this trend line here. Right. If we break through this trend line, uh, it's very possible that we could see some really big rallies in this stock 
And if it was to come up back to where the trend started, that would take the stock up to about $2.80. Now, I'm not saying that that's going to happen. There's lots of work to be done. And if you take a look just above our 61.8% retracement level here at 148, we have our year-to-date anchored VWAP. That's what this purple line is. We're trading below the month today and the week today anchored VWAP. So at the moment, bears do, uh, you know, basically get the win. They are in control right now of the price action. If we can start to reclaim 99 cents as support and get back above that level and get above our month today anchored VWAP, that's when we have stronger chances of coming up and getting towards these retracement levels. Um, these are all of the main things that I'm paying attention to right now. On top of that, with the bullish divergence, you, know, you can see that we also have this uh, resistance trend line here on our RSI that we've tested many times. All right. You know, we've tested it about four or five times. And the more times you test the level, the weaker it's going to get. And so the odds are increasing, not guaranteed, but increasing that the next time we come up to this trend line, it's very possible we could break through. The MACD has been squeezing for a long time right here, really not seeing any type of movement. Uh, typically, when this happens, um, you, you see a really big move in the stock. Now, whether it's going to be up or down, we can't know for sure. But the volatility is there and we are setting up for some type of a big move. The stock has already dropped a whole bunch. It doesn't mean it can't drop lower, but, you know, the setup is there and we're watching things currently. You know, we could say we are putting a little bit of a double bottom in right now, right, with a bottom here and a bottom here. And if we wanted to, you know, potentially get a double bottom W pattern to play out, right, that would look a little bit something like this, right? So boom, boom, boom. All right, lots of work to be done. We'll see what happens for sure in the short-term future and also in the intermediate time future. Uh, we'll see if we'll be able to get some type of a larger reversal and potentially even break through this trend line and get above our year-to-day anchor VWAP. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out today's sponsor, Simply Wall Street, using the link in the description. And also email me anytime, trades at gmail.com if you guys are interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one personal coaching session.